I'm Lady T506. Welcome to my channel. Hello, everyone's everyone's. I am here for Empire Season 5, Episode 9. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, you one of my peoples, you one of the family members over here, welcome back. So, we starting off with Hakeem, Lucius, Cookie, Tiana, and Bella. Hakeem, he is like, twinkle, twinkle, little star. You know, trying to calm Bella down because she got the gun on her hand. And we don't want her to drop the gun and the gun go off. And we don't know her, want her to get excited and pull the, uh, to pull the trigger and somebody get shot. So he like slowly walks over to her, you know, saying a twinkle, twinkle little star, you know, distracting her. So he gets close and like grabs the gun. Like everybody was like, ooh, child, that could have went so many different ways. Because last time she had the gun up to her neck like that. She had the gun pointed at everybody. And you know what they say, she didn't got all that, you know, all the hand coordinate hand and eye coordination ain't on point at this point so okay it's like okay we've handled this situation everything's fine lucius feels like it's his fault because he raised his kids with guns in the house like that's all they every time we turn around lucius had a gun when andre was little he was hiding a gun from his dad and so the police wouldn't find out like he's had a gun on him since he was in the sixth grade like really like you in the sixth grade you had a gun on you just think about that so he was like you know what you mean your mama had to do what we had to do to, you know, we was about that life. And we didn't want y'all to be about that life. But look what happened. You are the only one in this family who has not taken a life. And I was like, that is true. Because Lucius didn't kill a few people. Cookie was responsible for, um, old dude getting killed. Um, I can't think of it. Frank Gantz. I think that's what his name was. She was responsible for him getting killed. Andre killed um, Anika. Jamal killed doggone it. What's his name? Tay Diggs character. You the only one without blood on your hands. And like, we can't, we trying to do better with this family. You and Tiana, y'all need to work this out. If y'all can't be together because y'all love each other, y'all need to be together because y'all want to be good co parents to these two babies. And quit telling her she not Bella's mama because that's the only mama she know. That's what I'm saying. Lucius didn't say that, but I'm going to continue saying that. Bella didn't really know Anika like that. She knows Tiana is her mama, and that's the only thing that matters right now. So Kai, he's all on TV talking about some empire and tells the world, for many years, companies have been selling your information, mainly to other companies because they want to sell you something. But empire selling your information to law enforcement. All these people, you put your information in there, they're tracking everything you do, everything you like, everything you say, everything. And they're selling it to law enforcement. And the man behind it is Jeff Kingsley. Now, y'all, Giselle's looking like, now what now? Because I just made a deal with the devil, and I'm supposed to be, you know, co-CEO of Empire. Now I found out he been doing all this dirty mess. No, like, I just got a good, good job. Like, it was supposed to be my job after I sat there and watched my husband bleed to death. I was supposed to take over after we stole it from Cookie and Lucius. But then Jeff pulled his way through it. Not yet. Yeah, Jeff Kingsley came through and took over Empire. This is supposed to be my time to shine. I'm supposed to be cold CEO. And I was going to do some little triggery and get him out. Now I found out he's been selling people's information. Now I'm really not going to be really in charge of uh, being in charge of Empire. Because Empire ain't going to be no, here, here no more. She didn't say those things. But that's the look that she gave me. Like, I just became co-CEO and now I gotta find out some mess like this I'm like yeah girl you did now Becky she getting fired and escorted out of the building cause Kingsley gonna try to make it seem like it was her, her, she working with Lucius and they behind all this stuff to take him down like old dude who's in charge of the parent company he comes in like look here bruh like, people trying to back out. We got shareholders is backing up. I'm going to need y'all to clean things up. Thursday goes over there and tell Lucia, look here, Becky, she done got fired. They've taken her down. They trying to pin this mess on her because they know y'all go y'all go way back like four flats on the Cadillac. Y'all go back like Forrest and Bubba. Y'all go back like Forrest and Jenny. Ken, he's trying to pin all this on you and Becky like, since y'all go way back. 
Kai, he's over there telling Jamal that his source dug a little bit deeper and seen how the way Lucius was doing things and hadn't the people was, you know, doing drugs and beating on people and all this other stuff. And he was like, well, you ain't got to put that out. You know, that's my family. He's like, yeah, but I'm a reporter. He's like, yeah, but you my family. And he's like, you know what? I don't want to resent you for not putting this out, but look here, I got off for a job, so I think we need to take a break right quick. And I was like, see, I knew that Kai and Jamal was not going to last. I just knew, I was like, first of all, you sat here and got this good, good story off my family, and then you want to turn around and just like, dog my family because you're a reporter? And now you tell me that you need a break. Like, for real, this is what we're doing. I was like, yeah, that's what he doing. He came in, got a good, good story out of y'all family. And now he want to check you loose. That's how it seems to me. Lucius all mad goes over to Kingsley's office and starts beating on him. But I'm like, first of all, how did he get past security? Because they know who Lucius is and know Lucius is not allowed in the Empire Building. So he goes over there, you trying to make me look like a snitch. I've never been a snitch. And was like beating on him for like profusely and ferociously. And Giselle said, like, like, stop, stop, stop. Don't beat on him. He's your son. He's your son. She's like, what? Wait, Tracy was his mama. He was like, what? He's like, you want to hit me again, Dad? As he's laying on the floor all bloody. The next thing you know, Lucius goes over there to see White Tracy. And every time we've seen White Tracy, she has been unresponsive, just laying in the bed. People having conversations around her and everything. But Lucius shows up and she's wide alert and talking. Talking about some, Lucius, you've come back. Look at our baby. Look at him. See in his eyes. I'm willing to go on Mori and take up eternity test if you need to. And he's like, I don't know what you're talking about. He basically like, girl, you know that is not my son. Look in his eyes, Lucius. We can all go on Mori together. She didn't say Mori, but she said she's willing to take a DNA test. And I'm trying to figure out, like, every, like, the few times that we've seen you, not in flashbacks, but you've been laying in that bed and I thought she was comatose. Or like heavily medicated. So how is it now you wide alert and just talking just as regular? I'm going to need somebody to fill in that for me. Because I just did not get that. Like you wide awake. You talking. And Lucia was like, look, we hung out like a few times. But it wasn't like that. And they showing a flashback that, you know, that she he was giving her some drugs and basically and like his friend Shan was talking about something man you hit you hit, with her you need to get you a one woman he's like until I find the right one I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you that dude what I I can't do the voice but if you go over to Stanley and that Stanley and Lynette's channel random TV reviews she got Lucius's voice down pat but anyway he's like basically that ain't my tell I'm gonna need you to quit telling folks that bye bye and he just walks off I was like. Oh, I guess so. Giselle shows up to the showcase talking about some, um, she has something to tell him about Kingsley. Like, basically, I know that you and Becky weren't behind this whole thing. Like, basically, Becky, she did kind of get the information, but they didn't doctor it or anything. And, like, she can, you know, she has a way to get um, Kingsley out of Empire for good. And if you work with me, I can give you back the throne. You can be back running Empire. It's just that I want to be co-partner. She trying to cover all her bases. I was like, girl, I don't know. Remember what Becky said? The last light skin that happened was making moves like that. She ended up dead. So you might want to watch out because Kingsley got that crazy look in his eyes. That seemed like he would snap at any moment. And you just look like you'll be snappable. Just saying. Everybody's happy to showcase and we're good. It seems like we're going to be getting us some donors. We're going to be making money out here. Then Kingsley pops on stage. I was like, first of all, y'all should have had security to make sure that he wasn't going to come there. And, well, at least Lucius. But anyway, he gets on stage talking about some. I know you've heard of the Lucius and Cookie story. It's all romanticized. But this is the Lucius and White Tracy story. Lucius got white Tracy hooked on drugs, got her pregnant, and left her to raise the child, which is me. I always wondered what it would be like to be raised by Lucius, and now I got to see what it was like today. 
and he beat me. I'm paraphrasing. Everyone's like, <gasps> they clutching pearls and everything. And they're like, tell us it's not true. And Lucius can't do nothing but sit there and look like, uh, I was trying to tell you this cookie, but you wouldn't let me talk. Then we get a flashback of... I'm going to continue to call her White Trace because that's what they called her on the show. White Trace is showing up with a young Kingsley. And I guess it's, I guess it's Jamal and Andre. They out on the front stoop, you know, playing and everything. And she shows up. Tell me, she's going to meet your daddy. So she just sits in by the kids and knock on the door and like, Hey, Lucia, I'm, I'm clean now. I've been staying with my grandma and grandpa. Everything good. I just want you to meet, you know, this is my son. He's like, Hey, hey, man, little man. Nice to meet you. And he's like, if you want some drugs, you know, old dude around the corner. And he basically like, okay, that's your son. I didn't say it was my son. You want some drugs. You can go around the corner. And Kingsley said that was the day he had to like, seen his mama like, hit rock back on him. She got back on drugs. He had to, you know, help her out. You know, while she was on drugs and everything else. And everybody was looking like, <gasps> Oh, the horror and all this other stuff. But lastly, we see Andre in the emergency room fighting for his life. Now, we don't know what happened that led up to that. Last time we seen Andre, he was at Quincy's mama's house. And Quincy then got out of jail and basically... No, we seen him after that. They was all at the beach. And for some reason, when that beach scene, I just thought that something was going to happen to Quincy right then and there. I don't know why, because we like seeing like dude in the Santa Claus suit sitting off the yonder. Andre shows up and Quincy's like, I'm gonna go get something to drink. And he all happy. And I was like, happy moments always turn into something tragic on these shows. But like, a lot of time we see Andre, he was happy. And then they say, no, he's sitting there fighting for his life in the emergency room. So I was like, is that Andre in the coffin? But I was like, I don't think it's anybody in the family because Lucius and Becky would have been like falling out, crying and all this other stuff. So like, who was in the coffin? I thought we were going to find this out this episode who was in the coffin, but I was wrong. We got to wait until like January when everything comes back and we probably won't find out who's in the coffin until like season finale see i thought it was gonna kind of be like on how to get away with murder when we like show you a glimpse and at the end of like the mid-season finale we find out what was going on because that's kind of how they was doing it like showing you different clips of like okay it's not becky in the coffin it's not thirsty in the closet in the coffin who is it but we don't even find out yet y'all i was highly upset because i thought i wanted to figure out who was in the closet like i was so stressed out watching this episode because i just was like who's in the closet like first of all we just need to get i've been saying this for the longest time we need to get grandma at it wherever situation they got her in bring her home because grandma was handling business was it wrong the way she was handling business yes but she was handling business for the family and people was not even suspecting her. So anyways, that was the gist that went on. If I left anything out, by all means, leave a comment below. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, you one of my people, you one of my family members over here, welcome back. Tell your friends and tell their people and their people to come over here and be one of my peoples too. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.